After a wild and stormy weekend, Mother Nature's treating us to a little more hardball all week long. And some storm chasers got caught by one of the tornadoes yesterday. In a moment, you're going to see the second their car got hit. Meanwhile, Dallas is one of the cities we're watching today. We're tracking the threat throughout the week from the plains all the way to the east coast. And would you believe that we are just two weeks from Memorial Day, but look at that. That is feet of fresh snow piling up in the Rockies. Is winter storm Zephyr finally going to be the end of the line for the snow? That's, it should be. It ought to it's be. Seen. That looked like file footage from February. Are you telling me this is happening today? It's happening. From the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you're watching Weather Center Live. You won't believe it, but we're going to show it to you. Crazy stuff out there. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dave Schwartz. And I'm Alex Wilson. Amongst the wintry weather, we also have severe weather to tell you about. Amazing new video to show you of a tornado that hit in Nebraska on Sunday. Take a look. That is cutting it close. That is a piece of irrigation equipment almost knocking the windshield out of the storm chase vehicle. There were several people inside when it was hit. You could hear them in the car, but they are luckily doing fine. And take a look at the storm threat for today. In the last hour, two new watch areas have been issued. The most recent from Michigan, from Detroit all the way back to Muskegon on the west coast, including Lansing, Michigan and Ann Arbor. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect till 10. Milwaukee, so Michigan State and the University of Michigan and the both University of included. Michigan, right. <laughs> till 5, Milwaukee, Chicago, Rockford, and West. And then we pick it up on the Mississippi River Valley, Galesburg, Illinois, the Quad Cities, almost back to Des Moines, a severe thunderstorm watch till 8 p.m. And our breaking weather alert system is lighting up with severe warnings, so we want to get an in-depth look at the severe weather ongoing and the threat for today. So